similarities. You must look at things through something regular. That is to say, you must lay a ruler alongside them, or compare their behavior with the regular behavior of a clock. But clocks and rulers are human inventions. They are regular measures which we use for comparing the rates of change. Say a clock is a measure of a rate of change. It's quite arbitrary. But we very easily compare our regulation measuring devices with what makes things happen. As if the sun rises because it's six in the morning. Now that's being completely backwards in one's thinking. And we get into the same confusion when we imagine, for example, that money is wealth. Here we have fantastic wealth, you know, and uh, we have the technological possibility of making everybody on earth the enjoyer of an independent income. We can't do it. Because people say, where's the money going to come? Because they think money makes prosperity. It's the other way around. It's, it's, it's physical pro uh, prosperity, which has money as a way of measuring it. But people think money has to come from somewhere, like uh, hydroelectric power or lumber or iron. And it doesn't. Money is something we invent, like inches. So you remember the Great Depression? When uh, there was a slump, why did we have a slump of money? There was no less wealth, no less energy, no less raw materials than there were before, but it's like you came to build, work on building a house one day, and they said, sorry, you can't build this house today, no inches. What do you mean no inches? Not just inches, we don't mean that we got inches of lumber, yes, we got um, inches of metal, we've even got tape measures, but there's a slump in inches as such, you see? And people are that crazy. They, they can have a depression uh, because they've got no inches to go around or, or, or no dollars. <laughs> That's all a lot of nonsense.